Alright, this is going to be a quick little video to show some basic modeling stuff. I'm going to start with just modeling a, model, modeling a sword real quick, just to show you how to do it. Alright, start by putting space. I'm going to add a cube, so I just type in cube. Got a cube there. I'm already in edit mode now. And let's see. Start with the handle. We'll take these right here. Yeah, these right here too. I'm going to hit W, subdivide. There we go, we got more face to work with. I'm going to see, scale it down a little bit. Scale it on the Z axis. Alright, there's that. This, this, this. Um, we're going to scale it on the not Z axis. That's all right, there we go. It's round. Hit Control L, select it all. Uh, scale it on the Y axis to flatten it, because the sword handle is not perfectly round. All right, and we'll add, select these ones. Hold. Yeah. Um, I'm going to scale it down because the sword handle has a taper. All right. There we go. As a basic handle, we'll add. Edge, not a cube. Here, you see, go with a pommel. Oops. We'll go with a ring style, a coin style pommel, which is pretty simple and that happens to be one of my more favorite designs. Alright, just for practical speaking. Subdivide again, so we got that. That. Going to scale it on all but the y axis. Alright, so it's basically round there. Control select all linked. Just gonna scale it down some more. Go, cheesy. Alright, uh, that's still a little big. Huh? Alright, now we'll add a cross guard. Add another cube. Do you see? S Y. Let's see. Let's see. Extrude faces. E and a scale it. All right, now just oops. There we go. There's a basic cross code. Right, and then we'll just add another cube. This is going to be the blade. to hide all but that this this and this we're gonna subdivide it okay s y oops x there we go so we got a roughly blade shaped profile we'll take this face let's see, let's see. Add a fuller to it. Um, subdivide. We'll do. All right. We'll subdivide like 
este vamos a check this control e edge rings este subdivide once more I'll take these guys squeeze them in Simple fuller right there. Okay, so and hey, you know what that blade's still big. Okay, track do that again. Lock the Z. Oops. to control e edge ring going to let's see shift k oops my bad right. shift k this will me to use the knife tool which will basically cut the faces do that I'm gonna hit c to lock the angle there we go got extra set of faces there we get rid of this fuller so it is no longer all the way through the blade. S Y and there we go. I got it set so oops the snaps to the I got it set to snap to tap the vertex. And when you hold uh can or G when you move and stuff. Or is it G? No, it's control. When you're moving stuff, and that'll snap it to whatever you drag it to. Alright, so got that. Now we're basically gonna do the same thing for this. Alright, there we go. Um it's not very good. Okay, see how this right here there's definitely an edge there, but it's not defined. Just gonna take this and do it for all these. Hit Control T, and there we go. So now we got an actual edge to work with, and it's it's kind of a yeah. If this is a real sword, that would be not great geometry. But for the sake of this video, I'm gonna say that's that's a sword right there. Right now, just in a couple minutes, and there you go.